Herman and Ryan Ross representing the ENS Superior. The 11th annual George Jeffrey Soapbox Races took place June 6th and 7th at Waverly Park. There was a lot to see and do. Executive Director Marianne Camusi explains the importance of the volunteers who build the cars. Some of the cars are built by independents. We have people that are very supportive of our uh, centre and foundation that have built. We had one fellow, Dennis Neaton, who's just built three brand new two-seater cars this year. Uh, we have lots of independent people that have made their own cars to race them. The event got started 11 years ago. They had a car show and they were trying to figure out something that they could incorporate with the car show and somebody had been away and found out that there was a soapbox races and that's how it was born. There was a great turnout of all ages. Everyone was welcome to come out and enjoy this event. It's open to everybody. It's not just for children at the centre. This is open to every child in Thunder Bay. Uh, we have just some cars available and we also, you can go to our website right and uh, information is like there. You can give us a call and we can connect you with people that have cars Fort that Williams might be available for use. Dennis Neatonen has a very inspiring story about what got him started building soapbox cars. The first time I went and I, I took a hot rod truck to a car show at Fort William Gardens, I didn't even know what the treatment center was for. And uh, I met a little girl, her name is uh, Samantha Boyachko, and she uh, was having trouble walking, but she was with her grandpa, uh, we call him Uncle Bob Spear. And uh, after that moment, I was kind of sold. And I joined the group that was raising money for the treatment center. I made the ones, uh, this blue, uh, the blue one over there with the, the 200. There's a, there's a lime green one and there's an orange one that are very similar and I made those three. Juliet Elliott loves racing but has other reasons why she takes part in this event. I actually have friends who benefit from, from George Jeffries and I, I like to help them out and also begin racing because it's fun. <laughs> um, right now I have my own car that I actually built with my father and, but, and I had the two-seaters before which got me started and we got to pick those and the lanes. Well, I love heights, going off the hill and so much fun going down fast off the hill. The turnout and excitement was amazing, despite the weather. The rain has put a damper on it, but it hasn't dampened the spirits. We started at 8.30, had to call the, call the, the races. Uh, we started back up at 1.30 and every single driver has shown up, so we're just going to be racing now right until we're finished, probably about 6 o'clock. Well, you will see the kids running up and down the hill, and that's a hill to be challenged just running it. And they're eager to get in there and get racing. There were no spirits dampened today. They were all eager to go, even in the rain, but because safety is first, we had to make a decision. But they're back on the hill, and they're all excited to be there. To find out more about this event or upcoming events, check out georgejeffreyfoundation.com. For Shaw TV, I'm Cam Thomas.